ich bin's wieder, okay, so neu heran. Hier mit meinem Let's Play von Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Und beim letzten Mal haben wir die zweite Episode Monsters Turnabout abgeschlossen. Und wie ich schon im letzten Part auch schon gesagt habe, fangen wir danach nicht mit Episode 3 an, sondern gegenüber in das DLC, welches nach dem zweiten, äh, zwischen dem zweiten und der dritten Episode spielt. Und da wird die Geschichte erzählt, wie, mit welchem Fall Phoenix Wright seine Anwaltsmarke zurückbekommen hat. Und insofern lohnt es sich, weil das auch wieder ein spannender Fall ist, wo man schön knifflig, knifflige Sachen lösen muss. Mood Matrix ist natürlich auch wieder dabei. Äh, weitere Funktionen, die wir auch sehen werden. Und ein recht unerwartetes, aber dennoch auf diese Weise mehr als satisfying Ende dieser Episode. Was das genau heißt, lasst uns herausfinden. Special Episode. Turnabout Reclaimed. My name is Phoenix Wright, head of the Wright Anything Agency and a lawyer. Although, I was doing something else entirely for a while there. As for why I decided to formally get back into lawyering, let's just say there's unfinished business to take care of. Anyway, I thought I'd reminisce about my first case back on the job, and what a case it was. It happened only a few months after Athena joined our office. Damit haben wir das Opening gesehen und wie wir, wie man das schön sehen kann, es geht um ein Aquarium mit einer Piratenshow. Na, das kann ja doch ein super cooles Abenteuer werden. Okay, ich höre schon auf damit. Aber es pumpt so schön auf. Ich meine, Piraten! One Piece! Okay. 20. Juli, 12.37 Uhr, Write Anything Agency. Today is my first day back on the job as a lawyer. Putting this attorney's badge on again really makes it hit home. Boy, am I pumped! Even Trucy said, looking good, daddy. So, Athena, Apollo, what do you think of the old attorney's badge? Wow! This ship-shaped aquarium show is great! I can't get enough of it! Um, Athena? I still can't believe they showed the swashbuckler spectacular on TV! Good thing I recorded this. Now, who's ready for another viewing? You've already watched it five times! Let's watch something else now! How can you even suggest us a thing? This show is therapeutic! Uh, boss here asking you guys a question. What's so therapeutic about watching a killer whale? What? Don't you know anything? Animal assisted therapy is an established psychiatric treatment. You're kidding. That kind of thing really exists? It's a real thing. I 
I've been to the aquarium myself to try it, and it really helps. I still got to there every now and then to further my psychology studies. The last time I went, I saw a dolphin and an orca swimming around together. It was so... Hey, do you two think you could quit goofing off and do some work for a change? Echt mal, der Boss hat gesprochen. Work? But we've already cleaned the toilet. Twice. Each. Ach, Phoenix. Hey, wait a minute. Is that your badge I see? Blitzmerker. Wow, congrats on getting your tiny badge back, boss. Thanks. Starting today, I'm officially a lawyer again. Sheesh, took him long enough to notice. Gee, Mr. Wright, with that badge on, you suddenly look so capable. <laughs> um, thanks? It's not like I was some lazy bum, you know. But what made you suddenly so fired up to get your badge back, back anyway? Oh, well, I made a promise to a certain someone. An important promise. What could be so important? Anyway, we have three lawyers now, so we'd better start taking on lots of work. I'm all for that! Let's get this agency hopping! Well, we have plenty of enthusiasm. All we need now are some clients. Yep, wieder dasselbe Problem. Man kann nicht arbeiten ohne Kunde. It's been eight years since I last wore this badge. I feel like a rookie all over again. And this just in, the owner of Shipshape Aquarium, Captain Jack Shipley, has been murdered. Pfft, wie das einfach mal so plump ausgesprochen wird. The suspect in the case is reportedly already in custody inside the aquarium. Isn't that the aquarium we were just watching, Athena? It is! I can't believe it! A murder at Shipshape Aquarium? But I love that place! We need to get to the bottom of this! Uh, really? I guess I'm in luck then! I need Phoenix Wright to save my friend! Na, wen haben wir denn da? Das ist doch die werte Dame aus dem Video. Who in the world is this? Um, are you a client? Wait, that costume. It looks just like... I've got it! You must work at Shipshape Aquarium! That's right! You may know it! I'm Sasha Buckler. I perform like an agile catfish in our pirate show. It'll blowfish your mind! <laughs> blowfish. <laughs> Minnow? Blowfish? Those puns flundered a bit! Ich find's nice. <laughs> I figured out the client's identity. Chalk on up for analytical psychology. Oder einfach nur sehr genaues Hingucken eines Videobands. My friend is under suspicion of murder, so I really need some help. That's why I've gotta find this Phoenix Wright guy. Well, I'm Phoenix Wright. And this is Apollo Justice and Athena Sykes. They're lawyers too. If there's anything you need, all you have to do is ask. The same goes for me too, Miss Buckler. <laughs> Just call me Sasha. And I'll call you all by your first names too, if that's alright. Phoenix, Apollo, Athena, you have to help me. Please save my friend. Guess we'd better start by asking her more about her defense request. Wäre ne Idee. Ich meine, man sieht's ja nicht alle Tage, dass hier eine ziemlich krasse Punkerbraut hier auftaucht. Mit Schwimmflügelchen. Süß. Miss Buckler, uh, Sasha. Could you tell us more about why you need our help? 
My friend is suspected of murdering the captain of Shipshape Aquarium. Captain? I thought the victim was the owner of the aquarium. Yeah, well, our aquarium has a pirate ship theme. That's why we call the owner our captain. We call the employees crew too. That's a pretty unusual aquarium we've got there. But it's cool! Anyway, one of the crew's members, my friend, is being suspected of the captain's murder. They've already decided she's guilty. I think they're going to give her the death penalty. Wh what? What happened to due process? But my friend is as sweet and gentle as a wild shark. She wouldn't hurt a guppy. I know there's no way she murdered anyone, but they won't believe me. But with a name like Wright, I figured you'd be able to help me set them straight. Wait a minute. Don't tell me she picked you all because of a bad pun. Ouch! I see my reputation doesn't present me. But seriously, my name can't be the real reason she's here. Hmm, vielleicht doch. What's the real reason you picked me, Sasha? Well, to be honest, I asked a whole, whole slew of lawyers, but they all refused. They said stuff like, there's no merit to taking your case, or I'm not sure I can help. They're all as cruel as sharks, with hearts puttier than white bait! Oh, I can't really feel Sasha's frustration! With nobody on her side, she must feel like all alone. But helping people like her is the whole reason I became a lawyer in the first place. And then I heard about a lawyer named Phoenix Wright. They say he defends clients to the end, no matter how bleak the circumstances. Hmm, guess my reputation does precede me. Not sure how well deserved it is though. I thought to myself, if anybody can save my friend, it's you, Phoenix. Why the tall order, order here to for a man who just got his badge back? But I don't want to let Sasha down. Or her friend. Let's help her, Mr. Wright! Let's save her friend! That's just what I was thinking. Sasha, we'll accept your case. Y you will? Oh, thank you! You're a lifesaver! Literally! Well, no time to stand around and mull it over things. I want to meet my friend right now. Away. Come to Shipshake Aquarium with me. You got it! And I'll go too. Sorry, but I need you to stay here and keep an eye on the office until Trucy gets back. You never know when a new client might stop by. How come I'm the one who has to stay behind? Ja, irgendwie unfair. Armer Apollo. Thanks a million, Apollo. Well, ladies, let's move to the aquarium, shall we? Ja, genau. Phoenix möchte ein Apollo nicht mitnehmen, damit er die ganzen Weiber um sich hat. Ich hab dich durchschaut. Naja, ansonsten kann man zurückgehen und mit Apollo quatschen, damit er sich nicht alleine fühlt. Aber ansonsten... Besteht jetzt auch gerade kein äh, Bedarf dafür. Also, Shipshape Aquarium. 20. Juli, Shipshape Aquarium. Aqua Tunnel. Ey, ganz ehrlich. Ich liebe diesen Ort. Ich meine, schaut ihn euch an. Der ist cool. Wow, this is gorgeous! It's just like being under the sea! Yeah, this is the Aqua Tunnel, our pride and joy! I'm really glad you like it! I'm going to go on ahead and fill the detective on, in on our arrival. Take a look around the tunnel and then come meet me at the pool up ahead on the right. Hey boss! Look at this cute little fish! Mm, I bet it would be delicious grilled. Seriously? Is that really all you can think of? Well, 
Well, I didn't get to eat lunch today. Oh, and here comes some grilled chicken. Ich darf präsentieren the Naked Snake in Phoenix Wright. That's not a chicken. It's a penguin. Come here, little cutie. Oh, ist das ein süßes kleines Ding? Ja, wer ist denn ein süßes kleines Ding? Du bist ein süßes kleines Ding. It ignored me. Sünde. Maybe it was hungry too. Oh, look, it dropped something. Ah! It's an ad for the Swashbuckler Spectacular Show. That penguin had a whole bunch of these stuffed in his backpack. So it's passing out flyers, huh? How cute! A carrier penguin that distributes flyers. We could use one of those for our office. Also so ein Penguin wäre schon geil. Und ich hab nichts dagegen. Pinguine sind fucking süß. Well, can't keep the client waiting. We'd better get going. Yeah, you're right. Time to roll up our sleeves. Oh yeah. Then let's go. 20. Juli. Ship Shape Aquarium. Die drei Fragezeichen? Huh? I don't see Sasha. Oh, are you two the lawyers Miss Buckler mentioned? Detective Fulbright! Are you the lead detective on this case? That's right. As long as evil exists in this world, there'll be no rest for me. And who is your sea urchin like friend there? I don't believe we've met. Is he talking about me? I'm the defendant's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Well, I'm Detective Bobby Fulbright. People don't usually get to see this area. It's only open now because of the investigation. You two are pretty lucky to get this peek behind the scenes of an aquarium. Lucky? Right. This guy is even louder than Apollo. So, where's the suspect being questioned? And where's Miss Buckler? Here I be, Matt Buckers! Ah! Ah! Shiver my timbers! There's been one of Dread Pirate Nasser's scurry swaps! I beg your pardon? I'm not anyone swap scurvy or otherwise! My shame is that a sea lion, you be trying to make off with me best buckle. If we want to pick a fight with us, you'd best bring along an army of great white sharks. you about. Her name is Aura Shipley. But she only responds to Orla. So that's what people call her. I'm her trainer. She is the suspect in the murder, but she'd never hurt anybody. Ihr habt gehört, was sie gerade gesagt hat. She's the suspect? Yeah. And thank goodness you came before they put her down. I'm really grateful to the two of you. I just know you'll save Orla. What? Don't tell me you didn't even know who your client was. An orca is the suspect? Our client is an orca? Is this for real? Oh, did I forget to mention that? Upsi! Ja, großes Upsi! Ich meine, ein Orca! Ein Orca! That's one very book, big Upsi! Hm. 
Oh, no, but she's süß. By the way, what was with that mustache earlier? Oh, this is be part of me costume for the Swashbuckler Spectacular. When I be wearing the mustache, I be one of Cat Norla's Swashbucklers. A transformation as dramatic as a puffer fish, wouldn't you say? Fuffy! I don't think I would ever say that. It's a pirate themed aquarium, so that's why Orla is wearing a pirate hat, right? Yep, she really loves wearing hats. She puts them on all the time. But her fake mustache keeps falling off, so that's a problem. I see. Well, why don't we start with you telling us a little bit more about Orla? Yeah, ja, gute Idee. Ich meine, hm. Man, man erlebt das nicht jeden Tag, dass man ein Orca verteidigen möchte. So, you're really serious about me defending Orla? Of course I am! You're the only one who can do it, Phoenix! I heard you once questioned an animal during a trial and that got you your client off the hook. No way! You did that? Oh, die Papagei-Geschichte. I, uh, might have tried something like that at one point in my career. Oh, you're gonna have to tell me about this later or I'll ask Apollo for all the juicy details. Geht ja gar nicht. Zu dem Zeitpunkt hat Apollo noch nicht für ihn gearbeitet. When I heard you didn't discriminate against animals, I knew you'd hear me out. I have to warn you though, I don't know anything about orcas. I mean, they don't eat people, do they? Meep! Yikes! I think I met her mad. I won't have to talk that way in front of Orla. Orcas have feelings too, you know? Yeah, boss. They have emotions just like we do. S sorry Is anger the only feeling I inspire in women? Don't worry. She says she forgives you. Na Gott sei Dank. Wir wollen uns nicht verscherzen mit einem Orca. Besides, orcas are very picky eaters. Orla here only eats fish. The captain went to fed Orla this morning, and when he was found dead in this very room. Could you tell us more about this death? Das wäre eine gute Idee, aber bevor wir das in Angriff nehmen, wird dieser Part jetzt erstmal beendet und dann erfahren wir die Todesursache von dem werten Captain und was bitte schön Orla damit zu tun hat. Egal ob positiv oder negativ, Bewertung immer gern gesehen. Das war's von meinerseits. Wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Sehr guys!